What's up, people? It's me, Clint. I'm here for a quick Logic Pro tutorial. Um, in this one, I'm going to show you how to use the tape slow down slash speed up effect that you hear sometimes in music. It's a really dope effect. I use it sometimes. Um, so if you don't know how to use it in Logic Pro, I'm going to show you step by step. And once you see it, you'll be like, wow, bro, like that's super, super easy. So uh, let's dig into it. If I'm not mistaken, you actually can you can only do this using um, an audio file, not a, a, like a MIDI file. So I'm going to pull a loop from my Urban Chords sound pack. <clears throat> if you don't have that, um, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a dope collection of urban chords and progressions uh, for producers to use in your production. So we're going to pull one from that, drag it into Logic. If you're using Logic, my loop is going to automatically import the tempo, which is convenient, right? So we're at 130, everything snapped to grid. We're good to go. So let's play the loop, see what we have. So that's the loop. Um, so let's let's put this effect to work. Um, okay, so let's say I wanna wanna throw that in right here. So I'm gonna chop this up really quick. And I want this section to have that effect. So that's gonna slow down. So what I'm gonna do is hover my mouse um, like at the end of this region here. And it's going to be the top half. Um, as you can see, mine changes from lower half to top half. So I'm going to drag the top half, create a fade here. Now, this is just a normal volume fade. A normal volume fade. So we don't want that. We want it to slow down. So I'm going to hover over the fade I just created. Hit right click. It's going to bring down this menu. And then you're going to select slow down. And then you have this. And that's it. It's dope, right? Um, now, if you want it to be more dramatic, you can drag it back more. Um, or you can drag it up if you want it short. And I just created a whole nother fade. Didn't want to do that. So that other fade was an accident, but... There we go. So now another dope thing is that if you want to speed it up, um, you can do that as well. So let's take this region and speed it up. So we'll create a fade here, hover over it, right click, and then click speed up. And that's how you do the, the speed up effect. Again, if you want it to be dramatic. And that's it. And then you can just experiment and really chop things up. And some tracks, I, I did it like every, I don't know, every two, two measures or something like that. So um, that's how you do the slow down and speed up tape effect in Logic Pro. If you like the video, like it, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. All right, peace.